In Gemini, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. I'm going to do your March 2022 monthly prediction for love, life and career. What's happening in your life um, in this month? So keep an open mind. This is a general reading. You can also book a personal reading. Everything is given in the description box. Every Gemini on my channel, please give me a, a follow on Instagram. Please follow me on Instagram. I... I'm definitely working there, so I need your support, okay? You can also follow me on TikTok. Everything is given in the description box. Let's see. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, any planets if you have, you can wipe this reading. Let's see. So we are starting from the Emperor, the Daddy. We have the Fool. Uh, you could be watching this. You're a Daddy or Mommy, okay? But this is a Daddy. Wow, two major arcana. Let's see overall what's happening in your life right now. The cards are flowing up here. Wow, definitely it's a daddy. King of Pentacles. What? We have the Emperor and Empress. Give me a break. Wow. We have a mommy and daddy here. Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. Let's see bottom of the deck. Knight of Cups. Okay, someone is coming definitely. Uh, I definitely did your reading in um, in previous month that was also talking about here that and the good thing here is that this is someone new you don't know this person yet okay so if click off for those people that were waiting for someone uh, from the past because this is a new energy honey this is something new fresh with a full card something fresh something new in your life uh, it's like breath of fresh air okay with this person okay uh, you could be dealing with Aries Taurus, I'm saying I'm strongly feeling Capricorn, Taurus energy here from Earth sign. Uh, it could be Libra, okay? Uh, could be Libra, and I'm also seeing um, Aquarius, yes. And with this Knight of Cups, I'm strongly oh Six of Cups. This is definitely like look like a Cancer and Pisces vibe here, okay? Cancer and Pisces, yeah. So look what I'm seeing here that with this King of Pentacles and the Emperor, you're definitely meeting someone that uh, this is you, okay? If this is you, then definitely um, I'm seeing that I'm hearing that money on my mind, daddy on my mind, mommy on my mind. So you're not settling for less, okay? That's very good. You have a high standard. You don't want to settle down anyone. You don't want to entertain people. You're re really with the Seven of Pentacles here reserving yourself for the right person. That's really good energy. It's a good vibration, okay? You're definitely raising your vibration. You are in a good vibration with the Eight of Pentacles. I can see that you're working hard on yourself. You're working hard on your meditation, your healing. Um, you're also working on something. You know, you could be creating some type of art and craft. Some of you, you could be studying very hard, okay? Um, I'm also hearing that you could be preparing some type of interview, like test that you have to give. So you're really working very hard so you can get this job, okay? Yeah, this could be talking about you maybe have an interview, in this month and you're really preparing it because this is talking about um this is like um successful people are going to take your interview or uh, you're going to work with successful people with a page of sorts it's like you are a student and they're your teacher or something they could be already successful people uh in this workplace okay or you could be going to work under some type of a company authority or some type of organization or company that you are a student there you are just a new learner there so you definitely need to be um you know you are going to take a time to be on that level, okay? But you are working very hard. You're determinant with the Four of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles. Like, you really want to be there, okay? Now, I'm also seeing that, um, yeah, this is something new that you're fresh and starting here. Um, King of Pentacles talking about your business. Some of you, this could be you are taking a big risk. Um, are taking a take. It's, it's like a risk, but at the same time, taking a leap of faith on this, this business, this entrepreneurship. This could be a business partnership happening with opposite sex, with this emperor and empress, okay? Um, like this is also talking about two entrepreneurs coming together, two businessmen or women coming together, or opposite sex. This is like two uh, also companies coming together, okay? Two influencers are coming together. I don't know what are you doing. Obviously, you're definitely doing something, Gemini's, because you guys are social butterfly and you guys are definitely anywhere or working with um, community, okay? Whatever the work you're doing, obviously. So we have the full card. It's like taking the leap of faith here. With this Knight of Pentacles reverse here, if things were really moving slow for you, okay, I feel like it is not going to be slow in this month, okay? You are going to work very hard. You're really... Um, some of you, you could be changing your mind about something. 
And I don't know what does it mean. Because you have been something in your mind with this Knight of Pentacles here, okay? You have something in your mind. And finally, you're changing your mind. Like, no, I don't want to do this. I want to go somewhere else, okay? Yeah, like you're doing something like this. Like, I want to go somewhere else. I want to do something else here. Yeah, some of you. Oh, definitely. It's a Gemini mind. So you're changing something. You're changing the course. You're changing something. Um, yeah, that you have been planning for a long time. But you're like, no, I don't want to waste my time there. Uh, if we talk about romance here, um, some of you, you could be dropping someone, someone that you, who were holding back from you. This is also someone that I feel like you have been waiting for this person text and call for a long time, but this person was not showing up to, to you, okay? So you are like, okay, do you and I'm going to do me. So there is a Knight of Cups energy. It's like with a full card. I feel this is a new person here, someone that you're meeting new at a workplace or some of you, this could be, I'm also seeing that some type of a business partnership happening with this person. Okay, that going to, um, you know, convert into a romantic relationship. Uh, if you're already seeing this person, maybe. I'm also seeing some of you could be meeting this person online, but you're taking your time to get to know each other. Uh, on uh, Online, internet, social media apps, dating apps, I don't know. Yeah, with the Page of Swords and Seven of Pentacles here. But you're getting to know each other. You're just, um, you know, taking your time to get to know this person. You're not rushing into it. You don't want to waste your time. You don't want to settle down. So you're holding back from this person maybe. Some of you, you're holding back from someone that you don't want to waste your time on this person anymore. You're turning your back to, from this person. Yeah, definitely. It's like you're changing. Your, 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 your intentions are changing somewhere else. Your, your attention is not on this person anymore. You're like, no. This person could be spying on you. I feel this is that person who's spying on you, watching you from afar. I don't think so. You started something with this person with the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I don't think so. I feel this person was holding back from you. But in this month with the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like when you turn your back to this person, like, oh, okay. Um, with the Knight of Pentacles verse here, you are like, okay, if your intentions are not me and you're not coming on my level, then definitely I don't want to be here. So you are definitely changing your intention, attention somewhere else, working on yourself, or maybe you have choices. So you're going to choose who you want to be with. So this is definitely the person energy that I don't think so you dated this person, but this person was definitely testing you. They were holding back from you for uh, some reasons. I don't know. They were not contacting you. It's uh, maybe some of you, this person maybe never tell you how do they feel, but you tell this person, you are waiting for this person to communicate to you, come to you, offer you something, but it's never been grounded. So maybe now with the Knight of Cups and the Fool card, this person is taking the leap of faith, um, leap of faith, okay? Oh, what I said. With the Knight of Pentacles, you are here. So this person is from night to now, it's coming King of Pentacles. Like they're serious. Maybe this person finally realized that you are the one with the emperor and empress. This is a divine couple, by the way. I love this. Okay, emperor and empress. Wow. It's like power couple. So I also feel like maybe this person was not uh, financially stable, but now on this person on your level or one of you was not financially stable with the other person. But now you definitely match each other energy. And now this person sees your worth and value. Like now, wow, we are, we are compatible. We can work together. Yeah, there's something here that um, either your perspective is changing about this person or this person's perspective is changing about you. I'm strongly feeling that someone's attention is changed. Intentions are changed. Yeah, about you or you are changing your perspective, uh, perspective about someone or uh, you are changing your intention about someone. Yes, we have an altered view. I told you. Wow. Wow. Altered view. Definitely seeing things differently. Someone is seeing things differently now. This could be you. You're seeing this person in totally different um, view now with the sunglasses here, altered view. And I feel like with this night of pen, because this person is bringing something on table, something solid. They know that you're not going to accept them if they're not going to come and offer you something solid. And this is the same with you. They know that what are, what are you offering? You are the empress here or the emperor. So this is a power couple, guys, okay? It's, it's not a playing. It's, it's, it's not a playing game. You both are not settling for less. You both know your worth and value with this emperor and empress. We have a seeing things differently than they are. Yeah, past conditioning, uh, influencing situation, reevaluate. Yes, this this person is thinking about you. There's something about you is changing their perspective, and um, they're coming, taking the leap of faith with the fool and knight of cups. This person is gonna offer you. They they're bringing something on tab table that's very serious. This person is not playing around. Yeah, we have a living space. Give yourself time to heal right now. So a lot of you, you're working on yourself. I told you, this is what you're doing. You could be manifesting this type of a person. Maybe this person is right now not in your life with the Seven of Pentacles. 
Okay, you could be talking to people, but you're not, still you did not find this person, but you will be very soon, I'm seeing that. We have a baggage, yeah, this, this, this uh, I feel like a lot of you, you're trying to clear the baggage. You're tra definitely releasing something, healing, hanging, you're not hanging more onto the past, you're moving on. We also have a uh, split civil, yeah, leaving quickly. Uh, yeah, there's something that you're leaving. Yeah, wow, it's like a, I told you, you're leaving something behind. Your intentions are changing. There's something that you're definitely uh, leaving behind. Like, oh, I'm done. Not keeping in touch. Time alone. So this is what you're doing right now. Time alone, focusing on yourself. We also have uh, gratuity. Yeah, being a gracious, abundant mindset. This is what you're doing right now. Creating abundant mind, attracting what you want. Yes, attracting what you want. Just a powerful couple. Whatever you want, it's coming. But you have to be in this energy first. You need to heal and release the baggage. We have a frigid, yes, chilly, cold personality. This person was cold-hearted before, I feel like, whoever this person. If this is someone who's coming back to you, I'm not saying past, I'm not saying ex. This is someone that you never have been grounded relationship with. Their perspective is changing about you now. They're seeing this relationship and these things differently. Maybe you used to work with this person. You used to talk to this person. You used to be friendship of this friend of this person. There's something you know this person, but not in a romantic way. Yeah, this person has emotional intimacy. I don't think so you ever started something with this person. But now this person want a relationship with you, with this uh, Knight of Cups. What I told you, look, Six of Cups. It's your old friend, um, someone, your old crush, someone that you maybe dated before, but things did not go well. You were friends with this person. It's a crush. It's a, uh, But something, I, I don't think so. This is someone from your past, but you never dated this person. This person want to date you. This person is thinking about you. They want to come and they want to offer you something solid. They're serious. They are bringing something solid on the table. And they know that. You are also have something solid, right? Now let's see what's happening in your career. We have the Hierophant. Yeah, some type of a position um, that you're getting. Uh, this could be also some type of um, public recognition. Yeah, we have the Star and the Hierophant. I mean, what are you? You could be a teacher for a lot of people. People are your inspiration for a lot of people. Or you could be getting some type of inspiration from your teachers. Okay, you could be meeting some type of a guru or mentor. But this is also like higher ranking and position. Yeah, there's something changing in your environment, in your career life that is making you happy and stable life. Some of you, you're getting a stable job, like permanent position, stable position. It's like your wish is coming through with a star card here. Finally, wish is going to be granted. What I told you, wow, we have the emperor and empress. Definitely, it's a business partnership happening with someone. It is emperor and empress. So a lot of you, if you are a couple here watching this video, if you're married, you're starting a business with your husband or wife. And you both are going to be a, a powerful couple. You are going to be very powerful on public and social media things or something. You both could be influencers are coming together. Again, something judgment here. Look at this. Wow, what the shit is here? One, two, three, four, five. Five major arcana. Something big happening in your career. It's a turnaround. You could be getting a viral. I don't know if, if something is happening on internet or social media. This is also like power couple um, in a business. But at the same time, you both are um, getting married. Okay. Uh, you could be mar marrying a someone that who is in a public eye or like a star or social media star. But I'm strong. I'm not seeing in that much. I feel like this could be a healer or, co you know, like uh, you both could be healers. You both could be in a public eye in different ways. Yeah, some of you, this person could be in a public eye. Definitely in a public eye in any way or any mean. This is an entrepreneur. This is someone who is a businessman by business mindset. Um, you both are power couple. I don't know who you're dealing with. We have the judgment card. Yes, it's something that is freeing you. You deserve that. It's, it's, it's something that written in your fate and your destiny. And you can't avoid that, right? It's also a position here of authority that you're getting. Um, okay, some of you, you could be becoming a boss. You could be starting your own business or you are owning your company and people are getting recognized your work and something. Okay, there's a business partnership happening. And others of you, this could be a definitely a higher position here. You could be marrying someone that who is, who is this much strong, uh, you know, have some type of strong, uh, um, you know, public persona or something. So good luck with that. This is your reading. I'm going to see you later. Bye.